My name is Sarah Markham. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the University of Limerick and I'm funded by the Irish Research Council. So my research, I look at ultrasound imaging, uh, which is a form of imaging that allows us to use sound to see places we wouldn't normally see, such as inside a mother's belly. When I was in primary school, I thought I hated maths. And for the first couple of years of primary school, I really didn't enjoy them. I found it really difficult to remember my times tables. And I just thought I wasn't good at it. Luckily, I had a really good teacher who loved maths and used to put a problem up at the board. If we finished our work early and solved it, then we would get a small prize. And the first few times I couldn't solve them, I didn't have a clue how to do them, but each time he showed us how the, the problem was solved and eventually I was able to learn how to solve them. And it turns out that I really loved solving maths problems and I was in fact able to become quite good at maths. In school, maths and physics became my favorite subjects. So I decided to pursue them in college. Didn't really know where I was going to go with it, but I knew I loved it and that, that was enough of a reason to follow it. And that's how I stumbled into what I think is probably one of the best jobs in the world. Um, so I'm a physicist and what I do, it changes every day. Um, so some days I could be learning how to use a different piece of machinery or I could be learning about something new that I, I never knew about before, the theory of it. And I can be learning a new practical skill, how to prepare samples and so on. Everyone has different challenges that are personal to themselves. For me, it's remembering things. I am absolutely awful at remembering things, but what I do is I take notes to try and, and combat that. But I think something that probably most of us feel at one point or another is that we're, we're not good enough. Um, and this is a challenge that lots of us face. I've faced it as a student and even now sometimes um, during my work. I think what happens is that we like to do the things that we're good at because it makes it easier for us. But that means that the times that we're finding something difficult, that it might make us think that, well, maybe we're not good enough at this or maybe we should be doing something else rather than understanding that it's just difficult at the moment and that it's something that we can work through. So it's okay to be disappointed when you fail at something, but there's always something to learn from that and it's important to just keep going even after failing because that's how you succeed.